pressure is on to try and prevent South Africa's credit rating from falling to sub-investment grade. Fitch downgraded the country's credit rating to one level above that grade on Friday. Another ratings agency, Standard & Poor's, was already on that ranking and kept its rating stable but changed its outlook from stable to negative. There are concerns over economic growth and the handling of growing debt in the country. While it's a stern warning to the government to get its fiscal house in order or face serious consequences. Uh, so Fitch ratings downgrading the country to triple B minus uh, from triple B. The outlooks are stable from that ratings agency. So right now, let's uh, have a quick chat to Ed Parker from Fitch. He's the head of Europe, Middle East and Africa sovereigns. Ed, good afternoon. Thanks very much indeed for talking to us. Fitch says one of the biggest concerns here was the country not tightening fiscal policy in response to weaker revenues. What would have been the correct moves on the policy front? Well, good afternoon. That's, I wouldn't say that was one of the, the main points that we made. Our, our, the primary driver of the downgrade was the growth performance and potential mm -hmm. of the economy, uh, whilst concerns about the public finances and, and the current account deficit were uh, more secondary areas. I mean, to, to answer your, your question, um, I, th I think the, the important thing is, is that the weak growth um, backdrop is, is really just, just highlights how challenging it is to consolidate the public finances. And uh, it, it's, it's not as that um, you know, a different course of fiscal policy necessarily would have led to a different outcome in terms of, of the rating. Clearly, there is a trade-off um, mm. whereby, you know, with growth so weak, if the government tightens fiscal policy further, then that's likely to have a, a further adverse feedback effect on growth. But on the other hand, if there's no policy response, then the budget deficit is going to continue and, and government debt is going to go higher. So I think our rating action was driven more by the growth outlook for the economy rather than any specific fiscal policy action or non-action in the medium-term budget policy statement. Mm -hmm. there, were, there is concern that the National Development Plan had not delivered a rapid movement on the business front. Um, we're into 2016. What needs to happen with this plan next year? Yeah, um, I think the, the National Development Plan, I mean, it has an, an ambitious vision for structural reforms, but our view is that uh, so far, actual concrete implementation on the ground has been relatively limited. And at the same time, there have been various other economic policies which uh, we, we feel haven't been conducive to positive growth and have contributed to the very weak business confidence and has seen South Africa's ranking in international business service uh, surveys decline. Um, so, you know, I, I think that the National Development Plan has, has been, you know, well discussed and, and there are a number of positive measures in there which could have a, uh, a, a positive impact on growth. Um, so I, I think um, you know, from our perspective, it, it's, uh, the key issue is really what happens to growth performance and potential uh, rather than you know, any uh, specific policy measures that would be implemented. implemented. You know, we take more of a, a broad uh, view of the outlook for growth.